we kind of define shorthand hop as a, an operating philosophy, uh, it's not a program. Hop is not something you can just say, oh, we're going to go and buy this program, we're going to start doing hop. In fact, there's nothing really an organization can do uh, in hop until they actually understand the principles and what it actually means to, to be doing hop. So, um, a lot of traditional programs are focused on putting rules in place, setting particular expectations and then maybe winning hearts and minds and getting people to believe and align with what the organization's safety vision is. HOP kind of really changes the paradigm in terms of what it is we're trying to do uh, as an organization. So we are a lot more interested in, in operational safety as opposed to what's been termed safety work. A lot of safety professionals are excellent at safety work. Uh, unfortunately, it's been shown a lot of the safety work we do, there's not really a very clear link between doing the safety work over here and actually improving operational safety outcomes. So what we really need to do if we want to improve operational safety is speak to people who do the work every day. So in, in HOP we talk a lot about the blue line, we talk about complex adaptive behaviour, we talk about the people who are at the sharp end of the stick. So we want to get involved with those people and find out what are the challenges, what are the constraints, what are the things that make life difficult for them. We're not so interested in compliance, we're more interested in operator struggle. How do we make your life and your work better? Because if we can improve that, we don't just improve safety, we improve quality, productivity, um, people's overall motivation and enjoyment from their work. So these things really are um, multifaceted uh, benefits to the organization.